Hi, I'm Meg. I'm the managing editor here at Seamwork, and today I'm going to show you the fabrics that we used for the two new February patterns. Uh, Haley designed two dresses for you this month, the birdie dress and the Joe dress. I am going to start by showing you the birdie dress. Birdie is a really sweet feminine shirt dress. It has an elastic waist, which means it's really comfortable. A couple other features that it has are a V-neckline, a front button placket that goes all the way down here so you can practice installing those buttonholes. Um, and what makes this dress really stand out are the sleeves. There's a little bit of drama in these sleeves. Uh, they are full length and they are gathered into these really cool tied cuffs. You can see here. This dress is really fun to sew, so you should also have fun when you're picking out your fabric. Um, if you want kind of a floaty, breezy silhouette like this one, you're going to want to pick a lightweight woven. A couple examples that you could use would be uh, lawn, wall, rayon chalet. Uh, you could even use a silk crepe if you're feeling fancy. If you'd like a little bit more body in your dress, you can pick a medium weight fabric. Uh, you could do something like tensile. You could choose a cotton shirting. It's a little bit stiffer, uh, but it's still lightweight enough that it'll hang nicely. Um, you could even do chambray. You can find chambray in a whole bunch of different fun colors, and it's got a real nice, comfortable feel to it. Um, and just because this is a dress doesn't mean that you can't wear it in colder weather. Uh, you could choose something that will keep you a little bit warmer, like flannel. For this sample, we used a linen and rayon crepe from our friends at Blackbird Fabrics. Uh, we love Blackbird Fabrics, and if you're a premium or unlimited Seamwork member, you actually get a little discount code there, so don't miss that when you're shopping. The birdie dress comes with a really fun member bonus version of the pattern. If you're not really into those dramatic sleeves, you want something a little bit more classic. Uh, this bonus version just has three quarter length sleeves, and they are finished here with a cuff. It does not have the ties, so it has just a little bit less drama if you're looking for something a little bit more simple. For this member bonus sample, we used a really fun floral print. It is a rayon fabric from Cloud9, uh, and we purchased it online at fabricorum.com. It is uh, from a collection called Spring Reverie, if you want to try to find that. Um, otherwise, you can check out this month's issue, and we will put a link in there to this fabric. And now I want to show you the Joe dress. So Joe is an oversized pop-over shirt dress. Um, and it has these really fun gathers along the front and back yoke here. You can see that there. And that's what gives this um, dress a really cool silhouette here at the shoulders. Uh, but overall, it has a couple more details I want to point out. There is a band collar here. There's a partial button placket, so not a full button placket like there is on the birdie dress. It's a par partial one here. And the silhouette is a cocoon silhouette. You can't really see that here, so we'll put in some pictures of the dress on our model. Um, but it's got a cocoon shape, so it's got a real comfortable loose fit. That means you're going to want to keep this shape in mind when you're picking out your fabric. Um, if you've never sewn a cocoon shape before, your fabric choice can really affect that. Thicker fabrics are going to have a more pronounced cocoon shape, um, and more lightweight fabrics are going to drape more onto your body, so it won't have quite as big of a cocoon effect. For this sample, we used a wash linen in jade. This is also from Blackbird Fabrics, and I sort of have a crush on this fabric. It is really, really lovely to the touch, so I can imagine that it's also really, really lovely to wear. When picking fabrics for the Joe dress, you can use all of the same fabrics that I just talked about for Birdie. You're just, again, going to want to think about the silhouette that you'd like. More cocoon, choose something with a little bit more body. Less cocoon, choose something that's a little bit more lightweight. In this month's issue, we have three pattern hacks for the Joe dress. And this hack shows you how to turn the dress into a really fun top. Um, for this sample, we used a rayon linen wall, once again from Blackbird Fabrics. Uh, it is another winner. This is a really easy hack that you can do with a bunch of different dress patterns. Um, if you ever see a dress pattern that you like, what's going on at the top of the dress, but you're not really a dress person, you don't wear dresses very often, there is no reason why you can't just crop it into a top. Um, we've done this with a bunch of seamwork patterns, actually, and um, we're really excited about this one because it just makes a really great top. We do have a video on our YouTube channel for lengthening and shortening, which might help you out if you want to do this. Um, or you can just check out this month's issue, and in Pattern Hackers, we will show you how to crop this dress in particular into a top. All right, those are the February patterns. We hope you love them. 
we're really excited about them. Uh, do you have any other questions about the fabric for this month's patterns? Is there anything else you'd like us to be covering in these videos every month? Uh, please just comment and let me know below. We're happy to tweak this video so that it has the information that you find most useful. Happy sewing!